recording. Let me record. Um, you Is want somebody else on? Christina's on here, oh. and sometimes like they're on a way different time zone than us, and they jump on sometimes. So, um, but I record for people who can't make it. But Emerald. Okay, so Emerald, first of all, is your first rank advancement, which is kind of just cool and feels good. Um, and it just honestly shows that you are working the business and that you are helping people, that you're hitting success club, and that you are, you know, helping people get hooked up with Shakeology, whether it is as a discount coach or as a working coach. But once you hit Emerald and you're an active Emerald, you start to earn cycle bonuses. So every time you have volume, um, it gets to a certain amount on each leg. You get like, it, okay, this doesn't sound like much, but you get a $14 cycle bonus, but it adds up really quickly. Okay. So um, as you're growing, as you're hitting success club, as you're recruiting coaches, working or discount, your volume's increasing naturally. And it, so t in order to, um, to get that cycle bonus, you have to be an active Emerald. Okay. So that's the first thing. It definitely boosts your income. So you're not getting those cycle bonuses just as a coach. Um, and then when you hit Emerald, they're $14 Ruby, which is two coaches on each leg and one on each side is an Emerald coach. You get a $16 cycle bonus. And then when you hit Diamond, which is four coaches on each leg, and then two of those are Emerald, Emerald you get, it's eight, it goes up to $18. So it increases with each rank. Um, but also as an Emerald coach uh, with two active coaches, uh, when you hit Success Club and you have to also be um, a club member, so you have access to on demand, which I think that you already do. Um, you all those things, you get customer leads from Beachbody, which means that those people that go to Beachbody, they don't have a coach or anything. They like I did. I didn't have a coach when I signed up. I just went to Beachbody's website. I ordered the twenty one day fix. Um, there are people that do that, and whenever they do that, they assign them to you as a coach. So just this week alone, I've had two people order. Um, I think just this week, at least two people order Shakeology. One of them ordered a challenge pack and I got two success club points from wow. you know? And so like I have a lot of people that I have gotten and I went Emerald really early on and I've hit success club every month. So I've been getting leads for a long time. Um, I've even gotten coach leads. Um, they didn't turn out to be like really active working coaches, but one of them still orders Shakeology every month. So that helps me, you know? Um, but you get um, these leads and it's basically free money. I mean, like these people go and they order. I have lots of leads that have never responded to me, but they order Shakeology every month. Some of them order like two or three bags a month. And so like I get that commission. I get that volume. Um, and so that's honestly, to me, that's almost bigger than the cycle bonuses. But now that I'm a diamond, the cycle bonuses add up. I mean, it makes a big difference in my, my income. Um, but income wise, you know, Emerald is your first step. And so it's really important. So like you've got, you've got the success club, you've got, you know, you've got the club membership. All you need is to go Emerald and next month, well, it, at, at a certain point, I think it may be like, I can't remember. I have to look at the FAQ, like it's the 20 something. Um, anyways, you, you start to get customer leads. So that's a big deal. Um, and so that's what, how do they do that? Is it just, they just randomly assign random, them. Random. And if you hit success club five, you get up to five leads in a month. If you hit success club 10, you get up to 10 leads in a oh, month. Okay. Well, yeah. Makes now okay. so they don't always they don't always order something like I get a lot of leads that just sign up for a free membership or they order like a three-day refresh or they order um, maybe they try the free trial to on demand or they have another workout you know they don't always order Shakeology but a lot of them do and a lot of them start out just with the membership but they end up ordering something okay so the girl that ordered the the um, the challenge pack this month, she's been my lead for a long time and I email them and stuff, you know, a lot of them don't respond, but she, she ordered a challenge pack. I didn't know she was going to do it, but she did it. And like, actually she ended up responding and now I just put her in our group. Um, yeah. so you know, that's, that's cool. I mean, like it's, it's just it's people that you wouldn't have connected with otherwise. So Emerald is a big, is a big thing. Um, and so after that, once you hit Emerald, your next goal would be diamond. So, um, so do you have any questions about that? Have you read up on that or anything? Seen much about that? I've seen the, the that that you shared, but I didn't yeah. really understand it like that. So, yeah. You know, that, no. that it's, 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 it's a good thing. That's what, that's, that's your next goal. Um, 
and so um, I wanted to, I'm going to talk about a couple other things, but let me, while I'm on this, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up with the, the leadership ladder. Um, let's see. So can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So the leadership ladder is something new that Beachbody has done since I started, since Christina and I started. Um, and really, they really begun to stress it even more so than rank advancement. Um, and like I said, rank advancement is still good and your, your cycle bonuses are based on that and everything. But the leadership ladder is kind of something new. So you start essentially, um, well, you're not even a business starter unless you hit success club five, honestly. Um, but you would be, you are a business starter. That's where you fall on the, um, on the leadership ladder, uh, which is the start. Um, and so the next rank would be temp or next rung would be team builder, which is 250 PV. Um, in a month, uh, you hit Success Club 5, you're an Emerald coach, and you have two personally sponsored coaches under you with at least one Success Club point, okay? Um, and so, and then team leader would be the next one. So, like, I've kind of gone back and forth between team builder and team leader based on my volume. Um, but this, the reason they came up with the leadership ladder, and it really, at first, I was like, why is there something else to measure, you know, our business? It's just something else. Uh, but you can be a diamond coach and not have volume. You can be a diamond coach and not have coaches who are working the business and hitting success club. What is it, baby? Okay, well, lay down right here because I've got, I've got to do this, okay? Um, but you can, so the leadership ladder really, since I've been shooting for team leader, like I've been a diamond coach for a long time. But since I've really been shooting for team leader and achieving that so much, like my income has grown a lot. And it's not just about income, but that means that I'm also helping coaches under me to, to build a business and to, to, you know, they're running challenge groups, they're selling challenge packs and helping people in their own groups. So it's just kind of an all around um, push for success, so, you know, not just financially, but in getting out there and helping people through with challenge packs and through challenge groups, okay? So, so the leadership ladder really is more indicative of growth in your business, whereas the, the um, rank advancements, you know, that, you know, honestly, anybody can go emerald, anybody can go diamond, um, but if you're really growing a business, this is kind of what you want to be shooting for, these, these rungs on the ladder. Um, and so since, you know, you guys are newer coaches, this right now, you know, business starter, yes. Um, the next, the next rung would be team builder, which would mean that you would have two coaches under you who were working the business in some way. Um, so that's kind of your next goal. Um, and I know you've got people, um, Tracy, who are going to participate. Do, do you have people participating in the, um, oh, that was what we need to talk about tonight was the open house. The team take card. Yes, that's what I, I didn't yeah. really. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you went through. Did you go through a sneak peek and like listen to me talk about coaching and stuff? Did you never? You just went from challenger to coach. Uh -huh. Hmm. Very interesting. I didn't do that right. <laughs> okay. Um. I think you surprised me. I think that maybe you surprised me. Like I didn't realize you like really. I don't know. I don't. Well, know. I, I I surprised myself. I mean, mm -hmm. I really was signing up for the discount and yeah then, but as I talked about it I thought yeah you can do this you're already and doing I, it I was always I was already doing it and I didn't even know I was doing it yeah so. So every month, um, like I do that, I, I advertise for my challenge group. And once that's full and it starts and I hit success club, I switch and I start talking about coaching and I start recruiting coaches. And so um, I run a sneak peek every single month. This, this time I called it open house because I've been calling it a sneak peek for forever and I just wanted to change it. Um, but it's a three day closed group on Facebook, just like the other ones. Um, and I post in there like five times a video of me talking about coaching. Um, and actually, I now that we have working coaches on our team, I actually have those coaches post a video, a short video too, like kind of telling your story, um, why you're coaching, you know, what it's done for you or whatever, what your goals are, things, something short, like four or five minutes. Um, and so that is an opportunity for people who are interested in the challenge or in coaching to, um, to learn more about the business. And so I just do a three day one. Um, and just during those three days, I share information in the group and they're able to ask questions and I close it out with on that, that third night, a live call about the coaching opportunity. And so, um, next Wednesday night at eight 30, 
I'll, I'll offer, I'll host a live call and talk about the, the coaching opportunity. Um, you may have watched that. I can't remember, but um, I'll, I'll do that. And that'll be an opportunity for people again to just come and to ask questions. And so that's what I'm inviting people to now. I'm inviting that's, them to that. That's session. the the video that you sent me, probably initially this weekend. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. That's the one. I, the one of the last ones I did. Yeah. So um, that's what that's what you know you would be inviting to is to that sneak peek or okay. open house, whatever I called it. Okay. And I don't know if I put you in that group. Did I put you in that group? I think, yeah, I think okay. I'm in that group. So I can. If, if I have somebody that's interested, I can add them. Mm -hmm. or, yep. okay. You can add them there. And when you do it, same same way as a challenge group, you'll add them in there, welcome them to the group, and, you know, just say we kick off on Monday, whatever. Feel free to ask questions. But, you know, when they're in that group, you know, like if they if they comment or if they have a question, you know, your role would be to, to if you know the answer, to answer it in some way, or if not, to, you know, direct them to me to, or say, Rachel, do you know how to answer this? Um, and like if they're not posting or commenting in the group, just, you know, every day what I do at the end of the day is I'm like, hey, you know, did you get to follow along? Do you have any questions about what we talked about? You know, and just stay engaged with them. And then, you know, when it's over, I say, you know, now's the opportunity. You can, you can sign up this way as a coach. We have a, a new coach kickoff call on this date. And so that, that's kind of how I do it. Do you have any questions about that? But I probably would ask you to create your own video if you're going to be in there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Uh, if I have anybody, I'll. Uh, I got some people in mind. And so yeah. I you know, people I think would be great, but they don't even know. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> what. And that's that's one thing we'll talk about more too is about like your posts and how you can kind of address those. Um, fears and concerns you know like I, I talked about that I think this morning in my my workout post talked about courage and how you know at first post, posting those workout selfies was really scary and you know I just kind of the same way that we address objections to challenge groups and challenge packs in our posts I do that with my coaching and stuff I try to um, but anyways so that's that so you're good with that you know you know what that's about now yes thank you. okay all right. Um, the other things I was going to talk about tonight were uh, personal development and um, time management. And so as far as personal development, I mean, like you guys all know, Christina and I have talked a lot about this, that, you know, it's important. I mean, it's just, it's just plain and simple. It's important um, because personal development, honestly, like I've said a lot, I didn't do it at first. You know, Melanie told me to read the compound effect or the slight edge. And I was like, poo poo, I'm not going to do that. I don't have time. Um, but then I realized, you know, I saw other coaches posting and their comments and what they were taking away from these books, like really made sense. So I actually started with the, Hey, Christina, I started with the, um, the slight edge. I listened to it on CD because I was in my car for two hours a day and I was, listening to it and it's like, wow, this is really good. Um, and so then I actually bought the book, The Compound Effect. And honestly, as a brand new coach, I use that book every single day. Like that's where the, the wording that I put on my photos, my workout selfies came from. That's where my, uh, you know, my thoughts for, you know, encouraging people to stay committed to, you know, to build up that uh, consistency, that momentum. It's all came from this book right here. And so it, but it also encouraged me in my business because, you know, like in this business, this, your business, you have, you build the traction, you build the momentum and it comes with those daily posts and inviting every single day. And if you take a break for like a week, you have to start all over again. Okay. So you, you have to build credibility and momentum in order to see success in this business. Okay. And so there are a lot of days where I didn't want to post a workout selfie. You know, I didn't want to take a picture of my food. I didn't want to invite people. Um, and so, but I kept coming back to what, you know, this book talked about was you have choices and it's those little tiny daily choices that you make to do something or not to do something that build up, that compound and, and create success. Okay. And so personal development wise, these were my earliest books and I still read them. I still, I mean, I still go back um, and read them. And so they're really, really important. And if you're not doing personal development, like kick yourself in the pants and just start now. Um, I was going to share and I'll let Christina share some of hers too, but as far as time management, eat that frog is a good one. 
Um, you know, it talks about a lot about just how to organize your time, you know, what tasks to do first, you know, um, work from a list. I mean, just really kind of simple concepts, but if you put them all together and you actually apply them, you know, it makes a big difference. Um, the national wake up call, you know, I consider that part of my personal development. If you're not listening to those, you are missing, you're missing out on like some golden nuggets to, to help you be successful. Yeah. I've been going back listening to old ones and, <laughs> and, and yeah, the, oh, the ideas are just, I mean, I don't even have, I, I want to do so much. The Instagram ideas. And, yeah. Uh-huh. They're all, they're awesome. And you're hearing from people who sat exactly where we are, you know, like as new coaches, they struggled, they wanted to quit, they didn't know what to do, they had a family, you know, I mean, like, it was every, all the excuses you hear for why people can't coach, you know, or why they can't be successful, these people had them too, they just overcame them, and they have really good ideas with how to do things like that, and so national wake-up calls are just golden, like I haven't listened to this week's yet, and I've got to go back. And I've started, it. and I haven't gotten into it, I like listening to the first yeah. one. Um, right. As far as like business wise, so I'm not a big business person. It doesn't come naturally to me. Um, so one of the first ones that Melanie suggested, I think I listened to this, it was go pro by Eric Warren. And he just talks about, you know, running a business, you know, basically showing up and, you know, inviting and, and getting out there and putting yourself out there. Um, it's a very, very good one for business, um, for, for just learning business techniques. Um, the Entrepreneurial Roller Coaster by Darren Hardy. He's the same guy that wrote The Compound Effect. is really good. I'm listening to that on Audible off and on. Um, but he gives really good tips just about how to run your business with integrity and, and kind of how to do the hard stuff. Like, you know, like really find people that you want to work with and not work with people that you don't want to work with. <laughs> you know, I mean, like stuff that's, that's very practical and, and, and just very useful in in running a successful business because that's what this is i mean this is a business that looks different than a lot of businesses but but we are we are our own bosses you know i mean we we are um you know we we build this business from our playroom <laughs> this is my playroom you're in your kitchen you know Chris, it's just it's your business and you're in charge of it and so i'm not a business-minded person and so it really has helped me um the other one, I've talked about this a lot, the energy bus. I'm reading it right now. Christina, are you reading this one? No. It's stinking amazing. And it's so easy to read. It's just like a story. Um, and I made a video about it. But I said, I always, like, check what I read with my faith. You know, does it line up with what God's Word says, you know, and how we're to live and conduct ourselves and stuff. And so this guy, even though he's not, he doesn't use scripture and stuff in the story, he's a Christian. He talks about it, like being a follower of Jesus. And, and so like he's basically tell, kind of taking a story and encounter that he had, and he's put it into this short story. But it's these 10, uh, 10 rules to fuel your life, work, and team with positive energy. And it's awesome. Like it is amazing. I'm not even halfway through it, but I'm just, I'm taking so many notes. I'll probably, um, I hope to do like a call on it or something like for us, a train, a training call or something. Um, but those are just some of my suggestions as far as personal development. Um, Christina, do you have any? Can you unmute yourself? Now that helps when I unmute myself. <laughs> uh, where is it? I was going to find it. I just started this one. I can't think of what it is. Um, it's by, I'm pretty sure she's in, does r and F. I'm sure you know what it is. Um, networking. I can't believe it. it's just off the top of my tongue. Um, yeah, I cannot think of, oh, how to rock your networking business. That one's a good one. Um, I think it's Sarah Robbins and I just started it, but, uh, she just talks a lot about not giving up and, um, just having that, uh, networking marketing, um, mindset. And there's just a lot of nuggets in that one. And I feel like with all of them, um, it's really good to just re to highlight the things that stick with you. I know like I pulled out GoPro when Rachel was talking about that and I have so many different things like just tabbed and highlighted. And so that's nice to have, you know, after you've read the book 
And a lot of times I listen to Audible as well because it's just easy when you're um, doing running errands and when you're in the car and that kind of thing. But then you can kind of get an idea of if that book is for you or, for, or if it's not. Um, I listened to um, You're a Badass. I listened to that one on Audible, which I think really wasn't one thing that I would recommend because there's a lot of cuss words and I can skim those over, but then somebody's saying them. So that's just an example of one that I listened to. There's a lot in there, but I was like, I'm not going to buy it in that. And so um, I know our library has an online service. So um, books actually has a lot more books available that aren't even available on the shelf in the library. And so, um, I mean, we're Washington State, so it's called the Washington Anytime Library. But it's a whole online database, and it works just like a library. So definitely check with your local library to find out if they have um, that ability to check out books online and I just do it through an app and um, it works like a library where it it gives you it either checks it out automatically or it um, will send you an email saying that it is available to check out you have like a couple days to check it out and then it returns itself so that's really nice because it just kind of shows not available on your phone anymore or if you finish it early, there's an option to return it so the next person can get it. Um, but they have both audio, um, audio and like actual, you know, the books. Um, and the, I don't know if it's the same app for everyone, but I would be surprised if your library didn't have that option. But ours is the OverDrive. Um, it's like a blue circle on the top middle. Um, and so anyway, check it to your library, ask them if they have like an online database where you can check out books because you can go in there and I, I will plug in whatever it is that I want to read about. So you could type in time management and it'll bring up stuff that has to do with that. You could type in like leadership and it'll bring up, you know, books on leadership. So I find that really helpful because then I can listen to it for free and decide if it's one that I want to listen to or not and then um, return it and so it probably depends I know my brother lives in the Seattle area and his uh, library is massive you could get just about any book available from his you know his inner city um, library ours is a lot smaller so the selection is fewer but definitely check in with that and then yeah, I do recommend um, Eat That Frog. That's not one that I have bought, but it is one because it's so short that I will listen to again and to kind of take notes. And the general idea, it actually kind of grosses me out, to be honest, in the beginning, <laughs> his analogy to eat the frog. But the, the, uh, what he's saying is, you know, every day people have different frogs that they eat. And... Um, it just depends on whatever it is that you want to get done, what your priorities are. But we all have those things that we know we need to do, but we don't really want to. You know, for many, working out, you know, is a good example of it. Like, we know we need to, but it's hard to, like, get that initial motivation to do it. And so it's taking that same concept and um, using it for time management. You know, when you're sitting down to do your power hour, what are those things that you don't really want to do? Like for me, it's inviting, you know, maybe sitting down and um, inviting. It's also hard for me to get things done like a, a blog post just because I always have my kids, you know, in the background. Um, they're actually gone. That's why I was able to turn on the camera and have some sanity around me. But um, they, it's that concept of, trying to figure out what it is that you know is essential to your business and doing that first and then it's like then you have that kind of sigh of relief like oh good that satisfaction you got it over with you're done and now you get to do the stuff that you enjoy so that's kind of the idea um, behind it um, he also talks about um, just the fact that there's not enough time to do everything that we want to do like just acknowledging that because we especially as women like we just think oh we're going to get this huge list done that we want to do and um we just 
don't have the time. It's not reality to get everything done. So figuring out what is the most important. And he says, you know, we don't have time to do everything, but we do have time to do something. And so what's that something that's going to mean the most for your business? So doing that first. So, and then also he talks a lot about um, doing the things that, um, like we all say that we're going to do different things. And so um, doing the things that um, that we say we're going to do and how that really creates who we are and creates our success. You know, if we, uh, we can say all we want that we have things to do and that we um, are whatever. We can say whatever we want, but it doesn't really make us um, who we are until we actually start doing those things. So I don't know if that makes sense, but um, that's kind of that, that book. And then another good um, time management type book is that Shalene Johnson, 30-Day um, Push. And she actually has like a free, um, I don't know what you call it. It's not really a webinar, but you can sign up for it. It's like a freemium. Um, you can sign up for it. And um, that's a good one. Oh, is that Sarah Robbins? Is that what you mean? Rachel's asking um, the first book that I mentioned. Is that the server? I'll find it. I'll find it for you. you um, but anyway. Was, um, how to rock your network bar marketing business. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. I was, I was just going to say, um, Shalene Johnson has some sort of freemium that you can do online. Um, I'm going to pull it up really quick. Um, because I think it's, yeah, it's uh, shaleenjohnson.com backslash 30 day push. And you can sign up for like a 30 day challenge. And she talks about it's a 30 day challenge to master organization. So that's always really helpful. Um, and then she sends you like a video of the day. So it's not so overwhelming. Um, I'm looking really quick. Yeah, it's um, Rock Your Network Marketing Business by Sarah Robbins. So that was that title. And Sarah, um, she does a lot of personal development now, but she's um, she was a teacher. And so she kind of tells you about her story and how she um, was able to just basically build this huge company from nothing you know she had a teacher's um, experience and her teaching degree and so um, she's very relatable like she's been there and she she wasn't a business uh, professional she started being she just had some extra income so um, it's a good book. was there anything else you wanted me to touch on Rachel I don't think so. Sorry, Henry's back here on the couch. He doesn't feel good. Um, I don't think so. Let me go back to um, what I guess, Tracy, really kind of those are the highlights of our week three and kind of where we fall at in Coach Basics. Do you have any questions? We talked about Emerald, personal development, leadership, ladder, and time management. Do you have any questions for where you're at right now? Okay, unmute yourself. I think it's kind of like I, I messaged you this morning. I got frustrated last night just trying to find somebody to connect with on Facebook because all I'm seeing now is, is us. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, so um, filter through all that. And, and yeah. So are you adding people every day? Are you adding? Okay, that's good. Uh, so what I would start doing, and we kind of talked about this, I guess, the other night on that, that live power hour, is I would start, um, um, sorry, I was distracted. Uh, I would start kind of going to those people's pages, like as, and they'll start to follow you, and you'll start to see new people liking your workout posts and things like that. But I would start to, as you friend people and they accept your request, like I would start to add them to a list and I would go back and just kind of slowly, you know, like the first week, maybe go to their page a couple of days a week and like something that they post. And then the next week, 
maybe like something and comment on it. And you know, that's going to draw people's attention to you and to what you're posting. And it's not, like I said, it's not a creepy like stalker right. kind of relationship and you're not attacking them as soon as they accept your friend request. Because honestly, I've kind of learned that as I add, I had three people every single day. Okay. And so I, 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 I didn't stop doing it, but for a few weeks I haven't really been doing that consistently, but I'm, I'm back to it. I'm back in my head's in the game. Um, but I've, that's, I mean, that's how my business has grown. I mean, that is how my business has grown. It's through adding those people, you know, I either reach out to them in some way or they start to follow my posts and you know, that's where my challengers come from. And so I don't necessarily go back and what, what I do whenever I'm looking for people to contact is so like tonight, if I need to send out some invites, I will sit down and I will scroll through the right side of social media of my Facebook page. And there's all those green dots of people who are online right now. And so I will go through and I will like click on Kristen Gomez and I'll go to her page. I'll look at it. Um, and I'll see what she, who she is, what she's about, who we're connected through. And, you know, I might say, Hey, you know, like I said the other day, your, your kids are adorable. I'm not sure how we got connected, but I just wanted to say, I really like, I do this a lot. Like I really honestly and truly like people who are always positive and on Facebook, they're always smiling. They're always posting motivational quotes or something. I'll say, you know, you may not know me very well, but I love your Facebook feed. It's so positive. And with all the negative stuff out there, I just wanted to say thank you and keep posting. And so like when you send somebody something like that, like yeah. it's genuine, it's from my heart, they kind of start to notice you. They'll start to go to your page more or they'll go to your page immediately. And, um, and you'll find that, you know, that's just a good way. Like that's a connection. And, and that's really how I, I get, um, interest. I mean, get, get, I connect with people. What, so, uh, web, what web browser do you use? I use, um, Safari. Okay. On your Mac. Uh huh. Yeah. I do that on my Mac, on, on my, okay, so our computer is a, uh, I mean, it's a PC, so I use Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. Uh -huh. So, like right now, my chat thing with my little green dots is kind of taking up part of my screen. Right. Kind of annoying. Um, do you, <laughs> you have know, any? I mean, it's taking up more, it's, I can't get it out of the way. Yeah. Uh, do you have any suggestions, Christina? Jamie. It's always hard for me to find that unmute button. <laughs> um, no, I think that that what you're saying is great. I would just add that you can create those like Facebook. Um, yeah, I don't ever do that. That's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, like the actual list. I've done that for like my coaches, but I forget sometimes that you can do that, you know, for other people as well. Um, and that's just like creating sort of like creating a group in a way, but um, you're customizing your, um, your feed. And so you can click on that list and you're going to see the posts from people that you have added to that list. So if you have a lot of people who are, um, you know, you notice that they're motivational or you genuinely like, you know, their posts, you could add them to that list and start building a relationship with them instead of getting distracted by the people who tend to just post, you know, whatever. <laughs> and it's not really um, something that you, that speaks to you. Or, um, like, I have a lot of people in my feed that are um, already in my groups. And, you know, so I want to keep them and build relationship with them and, and whatnot. But if if I have something that's separate as um, people that aren't in the groups yet, then that's valuable too. So. Yeah. Um, yeah I, and you can honestly, like, sometimes I unfollow coaches. Like, we're friends and, you know, we stay friends, but, like, all their posts distract me. And, you know, I find myself copying a lot or not copying, but wanting to copy. Or um, I think I should be posting that or they're doing that and I need to do that. And you just can't do it all. And you still have to be you, you know? And so like, I will actually, I mean, I don't unfollow my own coaches obviously, but like I have a lot of friends in the coaching world, you know I mean? That's how Christina met Christina. I still follow you, but um, <laughs> I, I do I unfollow people because it's so distracting and, yeah. and it does take my focus off of the people that I have the potential to help. So 
Um, That's what I like about the Challenge Tracker app is yeah. that you're not distracted by Facebook. Yeah. So yeah, it is. It. And the scheduling the post and oh it's my. easy. I like it, but my challengers don't seem to like it. So no, what's the deal with that? I don't know. Different. I wish probably you could use just another app. app or do what, Christina? I said I wish you could do live video in it. Yeah, that you can do in your yeah. group. Yeah, I agree. Like your in my videos don't pop up. Um, like they, yeah, I don't know. It's just different. There's good and bad. I mean, I think it's just a personality thing, honestly. You know, like we attract different types of people. We're, you know, we're all very different. And my peeps just don't like it. I think they like to be on Facebook, and that's where they're most social. And so I think that's what it is for for my people. Yeah. Um, but anyways. And you can turn your newsfeed off too. Mm -hmm. um, the downside is I don't always remember how to turn it back on. <laughs> I don't either. I, I I can't figure that out for the life of me. I did that one time and I was lost for like a day. Yeah. No, I turned mine off and um, I was just gosh, it was probably over a month now, and I just have not taken the time to turn it back on. You mean? So, you mean Notifications or your, um, I do turn those off as well, but you can yeah, turn I got those off. Feed off. Yeah, like you can turn your whole news feed. Like you go, you go to Facebook.com and you don't see anything. Like you could go to my, like type in Rachel at the top, Rachel Mitchell, and you could go to my page and see my stuff, but you can't see just your general news feed. Oh, wow! You if you Google it, Google it, and you'll you'll find it. Okay, how to turn off the news? Feed. Yeah, it's real well, easy. You go to whoever you want to see. Right, yeah. Huh. Well, I, I don't have any more questions about that. I got a question about um, what to recommend a guy that said he needs both cardio and weights. Okay. Um, 21 day fix, obviously, but. Right, or hammer and chisel. Is yeah, I really want somebody to try that. Just, Hammer and chisel, anything Tony Horton. Um, like heavy weights or just weights? I think just weights. I don't think he's doing. I mean, he's the guy that's, Is he big? No, he, he just probably just needs to lose. 22 know. minute hardcore would be a really good one. I would say either hammer and chisel or 22 minute hardcore. And they're both really different programs. So you could narrow it down like, does he want intense cardio? Does he want a fast workout? Because some of the heart, hammer and chisel are like 40 minutes long. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the nutrition guide's pretty much the same. But style-wise, like, I mean, as far as personalities, I think that 22-minute hardcore suits a man more. Mm -hmm. um, but unless he just wants to look at Autumn. Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty hot. She's, <laughs> she's pretty naked in that one, too. Oh, and hammer and chisel. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. Hey, I might get that. <laughs> she's like, she's my girl crush right now. <laughs> yeah, she is. I mean, she is like almost perfect. But um, she, uh, yeah, she doesn't wear many clothes in that one. Wow. Okay. And everybody's fully clothed in twenty-two minute hardcore. I don't yeah. feel like it has a ton of cardio either in hammer, hammer and chisel. chisel. No, and what it does call cardio is not what I would call cardio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a good program and, and twenty one day fix and twenty two minute hardcore. I would say I would say those would probably be especially if he needs to lose weight. I mean the yeah. hammer and chisel follows the same meal plan essentially. I, I think it comes with containers. I'm sure it does because yeah. she's yeah. in it. Yeah. Uh, twenty twenty two minute hardcore does not come with containers. Right. Yeah. So, but it's a, it's five awesome. is a good one too. What's yeah. That? Yeah. He doesn't do weights, does he? Yeah, but that one doesn't yeah. do weights. There's a lot of guys, though, that will do that for their cardio mm -hmm. and then lift weights. So it kind of depends on if he feels like he needs, you know, that structure to lift weights through it or, you know what I mean? Like, if because Jason can do um, any of them, but he's totally comfortable doing his own weights and just lifting, so... And what, but what was the program? I didn't I miss that part. Um, any of Sean T's programs. Oh, so, okay. 20, Focus 25 or T25 or, you know, like the Insanity ones are pretty hard and they're long, but it just depends on the, the person. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to have so many options. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, I'm glad we do, but it's, it, especially not having done them, you know. That's I, what I was going to say, especially not doing, like I've done a lot at this point. I think Christina has too. You know, we've done a lot of the programs, but if you haven't done them, you, it's hard to give your, it's, it's hard to suggest yeah. if you don't mm -hmm. have your own personal, you know, thoughts. Well, I think if you, like I'll ask sometimes if I'm really stuck on between two programs, I'll ask if they prefer something that's like really high energy mm -hmm. or because like uh, T25, you can kind of group those by trainers. Like Sean T, Shalene Johnson, like they are very like high energy and you know, right out of the gate you get going. And some of the other ones are too, but I feel like they're not quite as intense. And I don't, you know, I don't know some of the guys. I, I should, I try, I'm trying to think of a guy, you know, doing those fire hydrants, and it just doesn't. <laughs> I mean, they're doing it in the workouts. Those guys are. Mm -hmm. but, you know, I don't know. But I'll, I'll recommend that. And it's, you know, I like that I can send them the video links, you know. Yeah. This and see what yeah. That's good. Um. All right, you're doing awesome, Tracy. Tracy got oh. off the wait list for Summit, and she just like signed Yay. up for it today. Today, Yay. no, I'm so excited. Yeah. I just am so excited. It's in Nashville. I mean, that's just so easy. I know. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried that it won't be next year. Something made me think that, and I can't remember what it was. But something made me think that it might not be in Nashville next year. Um, but maybe it will. I don't know. It was in Las Vegas for a long time, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. That's yeah. a lot closer to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I know. I don't know how they get all those people in Las Vegas. Yeah, and it's not very family friendly. Uh uh. Um, we may have to like call on you for. Um, uh, we might be having somebody check up with you and Melissa. If y'all have room. But I don't know. I think maybe a couple of mine might back out and not go. But I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, I'm reading that thing that you sent me, Christina, the thing you texted me today. I'm reading um, it. I'm get back with you on that. I was reading that before I got on the call. All right. Um, Tracy, you're awesome. You're doing great. If you have any questions, you know, let us know. Okay. And I'll talk to you later, okay?